<laughs> but the people they think they understand everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name. Okay. But how many yogis are to find themselves? The question mark here. How many yogis are in peace and in harmony? How many yogis are became enlightenment or enter into samadhi? How many yogis are really have discipline yoga anushasana? Yoga anushasana only comes anushasana means discipline. Then one can achieve the aim, the goal and objective of yoga. Sutra number 16 in second chapter. One can avoid the future difficulties, miseries, and one can avoid future karma. In order to 
I've heard the whole kind of miseries and sufferings. Say, Heyam Dukkha Managatam. This is the second chapter of Patna Yoga Sutra, Sutra number 16. Suffering should be avoided. Heyaha. Heyam. Sorry, not Heya. Heyam means to be avoided. Dukkham, misery. Anagatam, future. Suffering which has not eight come should be avoided. That means. Where we are now, we can make efforts now so that we can avoid all kind of sufferings for the future. Suffering should be avoided and we can avoid what has yet to come. The present suffering has to be undergone and finished with. According to law of karma, the present suffering which has become ripe cannot be set aside. So present karma not possible to avoid because it's already that karma is right. The karma, the present uh, suffering which has become ripe cannot be set aside. It must be finished with through experiencing it. But a future pain and miseries must be avoided. So for that, what we have to do? So long as one has the body and one has to suffer, but so far as the future is concerned, it can be changed. For example, the harvest you are reaping cannot be changed, but you can modify the next harvest by changing the seeds and other conditions. The bullet which has been fired cannot be brought back, but the one which has it to be tigered, tigered, I say tigered, of, uh, can be held up. Similarly, the future fruits of karma can be modified if you do your present karma according. So that means what? How to avoid the future karma and how to make the proper efforts, prayatna. Hmm? How to make proper efforts, prayatna, in order to avoid the future karma. So, what we have to do? Hmm? What we have to do? We have been studying We have been studied. What do we study? You see, Britayaha, Pancha, Trayaha, Klishta, Klishta. So you have to little bit go back to first chapter. Hmm? We study very beginning yoga anushasanam. After some time, we study what is yoga? This is Chitta, Britti, Nirodhi, Yoga. The British need to avoid or to be seized or to be controlled or to be aware. Chitta British. So what are actually the obstacles? What are the obstacles in order to not create the sufferings? What are the obstacles? So first you have to understand what are the root cause of the obstacles for our sufferings. What are the root cause of our uh, sufferings? It means obstacles. So we need to avoid the obstacles, then we avoid the sufferings. Right? If you have heard the obstacles, you have heard the sufferings. So therefore, we have to go back to Britis. We sometimes say, mind is obstacles. But 
we can translate to as mind, but not clear as per the yoga darshan. We call it brithis. Brithis are the obstacle. Brithis are the obstacles. So brithis need to avoid. Brithis need to be seized. Brithis need to be aware and conscious. Right? Sometimes we say, some people say, some yogis are say, some commentators say so, mind is the biggest obstacles. But I don't think so. Because mind, the word does not have it in the sutras. Kalamana. There is no mind actually in the sutra. They say, They never say control the mind is yoga. They say chitta vritti nirodha iti yoga. Yoga chitta vritti nirodha. So vritti is. Chitta translate to consciousness. So vritti is need to be controlled. Vritti is need to be aware. Vritti is need to avoid. British need to be seized or British need to understand properly. We need to understand British. Am I clear? British need to be understood properly. If, or, if you seize the British, what is the British? The modification of the consciousness. But how to really diagnose this? How to really understand the British? We study many times. And where you can have the discipline? How to be disciplined? Hmm? How to be disciplined? Discipline only comes when we are over mastery of the dharana, dhyana, and samadhi. Dharana, dhyana, and samadhi. If we are over mastery of the three skills, then only you can discipline of the British. Means you are over mastery of the British. Then you can control the British, or you can use the British, or you can avoid the British. So I try to go to third chapter. There is the dharana, dhyana, samadhi. When you put three things together, there are four sutras comes. Four sutra in third chapter. Eh, third chapter, four sutras. You say, Trayamam, Trayam, Ekatra Sayama. Trayam means three. Three means what? Dharana, Dhyana, Sama. Ekatra. They say, Sayamaha. Samayama. Sam means harmony. Hmm, Sam means three. Harmony or the perfect. And yama means you already understand control or the discipline. So samaya means samyam. Say samyam or sayamaha. Sayamaha. Say samyam. Sam means harmony or perfect. Yama means control. So Samaya means completely mastery of the psychic process or a complete control of her mental concentrations. This is a very important topic of yoga. It reveals to us the secret of yogic powers. The application of the Samyam to different objects or thoughts will give rise to the psychic powers. 
called vibhutis. Hmm? Called the vibhutis. Tarkala is called vibhuti pad. The third chapter of the Patanjali of Sutra. Samyam. Cannot be said to be complete unless there is a fusion of the three process of the concentrations. The object of meditation must become extremely clear and there should be no personal consciousness. Samyam. So when you speak about to uh, when you speak about to, to avoid the all kind of dukkhas, mm, the miseries for the future, we have to overmaster of the dharana dhyana sama. Here you can see what is dharana, what is dhyana, what is sama. Three things comes. But Little bit go to elaborately. What is the actual aim of samadhi? What is the aim of concentration dharana? What is the aim of meditation? Then the second chapter when you go, what they say that this is samadhi bhavarnartha klesatanu karnartha. The second sutra, second chapter. Samadhi bhavanarthasa klesa tanu karanarthasa. Say, the aim of samadhi, hmm, the aim of samadhi, this kriyaga is to be practiced with the purpose of developing samadhi for thining out the classes. Samadhi need not to be discussed now. It is one purpose of Kriya Yoga. The second purpose is to overcome the classes. So, the aim of Samadhi in order to free from the classes. That is the second sutra, right? Patanjali, explain. In the second chapter, second sutra, Samadhi Bhavanarthasa Klesatano Karanathasya. The aim of Samadhi in order to Free from all kind of dukkhas, places. So, the aim of dharana, the aim of a concentration, the aim of the concentration of the chitta, the aim, we should say the concentration of the mind, right? But I can say the, the concentration of the chitta. Chitta means here, we have three states of the consciousness here. Right? Consciousness, unconsciousness, subconsciousness. Or we say conscious, subconscious, and unconscious. Jagrata, Shapna, and Susapti. These are three stages of the consciousness. And out of the three stages of the consciousness, what happens? Each stages of the consciousness are the British. And what is the British? Uh, what are the British? Our expectations. Abhidya, Asmita, Ragadvesa, Avinivesa, Klesa. So, Abhidya, Asmita, Raga, Vesa, Avinivesa is all are coming from out of a three state of the consciousness. That known as British. Right? And British already explained. Britayaha, Pancha, Trayaha, Klishta, Klishtaha. So British divisible in five stages. Pramana, Vipariya, Vikalpa, Nidra, Smriti. Eh? Pramana, Vipariya, Vikalpa, Nidra, Smriti. Today I try to remind you, make you aware how you can put into in order to understand and avoid all miseries, all dukkhas. And in order to, to develop the concentration, means chitta has to be stable. Who is going to concentrate? Chitta. So the purification of chitta is bringing the concentration of the mind. Eh? Concentration of the one-pointedness. What does that mean? 
धारण धारणा स्टेट ऑफ द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द चेतन एंड वन शुड डेवलप द रियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द चेतन देन लीड्स टू द ध्यान एंड ध्यान हैज टू हैपन स्पॉन्टेनियसली Mm, spontaneously and what is the dhyana definition of dhyanam the tatra prataya ekata anatta dhyanam this is the third chapter sutra number 2 what is meditation and how to meditate and how to avoid all kind of miseries and how to be disciplined and already i said धारणा ध्यान समाधि व्हेन यू पुट टुगेदर इज कॉल्ड फ्यूजन इज द फ्यूजन वंस यू डेवलप द कंसंट्रेशन धारणा धारणा लीड्स टू द ध्यान ध्यान विस धारयते इति ध्यान धारयते इति ध्यान इसे ऑन interrupted stream of the content of the consciousness is dhyan hmm? what is that tatra prataya aikata nata dhyana dhyana the meditation is so on the continuity of the consciousness is dhyana continuity Continuity of the awareness is dhyan. So dharayati is dhyan. Means continuity to hold the continuity, the awareness, continuity of the consciousness is dhyan is the meditation. So before we study what, what is dharana? Yes, the desa bandha chitasya dharana. What is dharana? The definition. Concentration, dharana, is binding the mind to one place. That means the chitta has to be concentrated in one place. Hmm? Concentrated to one place. Therefore, they try to translate with place here means a mental or the psychological spot. So therefore, there is good example how we can understand what is the concentration. There is a good example of one pointed attention given in the Mahabharat while teaching archery of the Pandavas, Dhanur Vidya. धनुर्विद्या देर गुरु द्रोणाचार्य अर्जुन टारगेट एंड नथिंग एल्स दिस इज एन एक्सापल ऑफ अ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मीन द चित हेज टू बी कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड वन प्लेस देर से दे आर फोर से देश बंध चित धारणा, the concentration, धारणा, is binding the mind to one place, hmm? binding to one place. And if you have developed the proper concentration of the chitta, you can translate as mind. Proper chitta, hmm? concentration of the chitta, the concentration of the mind. That means totality of the mind. When as the mind. consciousness sub consciousness on cons that you can put together as chitta so sometimes when say concentration mind we don't really understood properly so three state of the consciousness is called chitta and chitta need to be concentrated properly one place that called dharan and what is meditation and that uh, the continuity awareness of the chitta continuity continuity of the 
consciousness of the chitta, continuity awareness of the chitta is known as dhyan. That means there is no more concentration and simply awareness. Then what happens? That leads to the samadhi. And there are no more concentration, there are no more eyeness. Only awareness is there. So concentration means that is true. And when you say you are going to enter into dhyana, there is neither two nor one. There are neither two nor even one. There are neither subjective nor objectives. Right? Subjective and objective is dissolved. And if you say there is one, there will be two. In concentration, there is duality. There is separations. In a dhyana, <laughs> there is no duality. There is no two. There is no separations. Right? And when we experience the continuity awareness that leads to the samadhi. What is the samadhi? The state becomes samadhi when there is only the object appearing without the consciousness of one's own self. Is it tada tadevartha matra nirvasam sarupa sunya meva samadhi. Say tadeva, the same. Artha, the object of dhyana. Matra, the only nirvasam appearing. Swarupa, one's own for Sunyam, empty. Eva, as if samadhi, samadhi. So, we have to be very clear. It should be noted that dharana itself turns into dhyana. And dhyana itself turns into samadhi. In dharana, the consciousness is broken. In dhyana, it is a continuous. Whereas in samadhi, it becomes one with the artha. That is the object of a concentration. It may be gross object or subtle one. In samadhi, there is no consciousness that one is practicing concentration. So what does that mean? We have to be very clear. And that is called samyama. Ekatram eka samyam. So when we are attending Samadhi, <laughs> it's very interesting. When we are attending Samadhi, what happening? What happening? When you develop concentration of mind, that is true, object and subject. When you dhyana is simply continuity of the awareness, yourself is gone. The continuity of awareness is dhyana. Dhyana means continuity awareness of the objects. But here object is not about the two. You simply developing the awareness of the self. And continuity awareness of the self that leads to all the way to the samadhi. Samadhi means you are experiencing your own surupa. Surupa means what? Not your body, not your chitta, not the mind, not the jagrata, not the sapna, not the susupti, not the anamaya kosha, no pranamaya kosha, no manam vijnanamaya kosha, or the anandamaya kosha. What? That is your own surupa. In samadhi, you are experiencing your own surupa. Your, so what does that mean? Now we have to jump to topic of Vedanta. <laughs> eh? What is that? Or the Shiva Sutra? Atma. Eh? Atmam Chaityanam. Now here the subject apply Vedanta. Yoga does not apply here. You experience yourself. What is that self here? Atma Chaityanam. Atma Chaityanam. So we are experiencing the pure consciousness as Atma. The absolute conscious Atma. So in Samadhi, so what are you putting together now? 
dharana dhyana samadhi he put together is called samyam sam means sam means harmony perfect yama means control discipline so perfect control of the chitta then here you can say you have the discipline of the yoga hmm? you can say discipline of the chitta so what is the discipline of yoga yoga anushasana yoga anushasana means discipline of the chitta discipline chitta how we can obtain how we can achieve once you attain the samadhi how to attain samadhi then you have to put together dharana dhyana samadhi samyam you will put together sometimes we say that what is dharana how to practice dharana how to practice dhyana how to practice samadhi so am i clear today is different you say hey, you study all the time yoga sutra is boring actually today i am speaking completely different you never find such explanations in my 30 years teachings this is the first time i try to go forward or backwards because when you have proper wisdom proper knowledge you can go first chapter second chapter third chapter i'm going maybe after some time i'll teach in different so what you achieve and what is meditation so i'm try to speak metaphysically but the question mark comes how to avoid suffering for the future right this second chapter he yamana dukha how to avoid the future miseries future dukhas future the suffering so only you can you can avoid <coughs> all suffering all miseries when you are over master of the chitas over master of the chitta means over master of the breathing and over master of breathing only can happens when over master of the dharana dhyana samad that kal samyam samayama and kal samyam sam means perfect or harmony yama means discipline over and control the chitas perfect control the psychic powers that known as kal vibhuti hmm that is kal vibhuti so and here once were attain the wisdom of your own swarupa your own for what is that atma atma chaitanam shiva sutra ha huh? chaitanam atma that is the real sutra shiva sutra number 1 chaitanam atma atma is the pure absolute consciousness which is eternal which is free which is known as the bhairava consciousness so the problem is here but how to understand breathing right how to understand breathing okay i can say that you have jagrata swapna and susupti jagrata means your aware swapna means limited the consciousness but how to understand this hmm? how to understand so here in meditation what happening very beginning you need to proper develop the concentration of the chitta then breathing could be understood because breathes are coming from the chitas right breathes are coming from the jagrata swapna and susupti but how to see them how to diagnose them so here what you have to do is not possible to see but when you meditate so very beginning what you do forget yama and niyam come forget the asanas forget the pranayama 
come to pratyaha hmm? four things leave it come to pratyaha why need to be practiced pratyaha what is pratyaha because our uh, chitta the vritti is distracted confused miseries difficulties so our vritti is uh, is distracted right and that is the cause of our sufferings so therefore what you have to do mm, what you have to do so aim and objective of the meditations before going to meditation you need have proper chitta to develop the concentration so before concentration you go to pratyaha means with to drop the senses organ from the different objectives so what you have to do is simply sit down close your eyes bring the awareness to the breath sit down so here now comes subject asana sthiram sukham asanam i'm going to backwards right you study forward but today i'm going to backwards mode <laughs> so before pratyahar you need to stable sit down sthiram sukham asan how long you can sit down <laughs> until unless your chitta is withdraw from the external objectives how long you can sit down so to dirgha kala abhyasah patanjali explain in past chapters hmm? so to dirgha kala abhyasah Hmm. What is that sutra number? Sato dirghakala abhyasa ha. But I try to go to properly. How long you can try to practice? First chapter they explain. Hmm. I don't remember exactly. But they say sato dirghakala abhyasa ha. How long one should practice? He may be help me the sutra. Hmm? Uh, can I ask a question? Yes, just a moment. Okay. Anyway, first or second, I don't remember exactly. But how long one can practice? It's a thought to dirgha kal. How long we can be practice? So say until unless get perfection of pratyahar, dharana, dhyana. Samadhi and became enlightenment. Chaitanam Atma. How long we can practice until we experience? You are not the body. You are not the mind. You are the pure consciousness Atma. How long you can sit down? Sato Dirgha Kala Bhyasa. Then. And once we are attained, Chaitanya Matma, the discipline of yoga comes. Then our over mastery of your uh, chitta, and over mastery of the chitta means over mastery of everything. So naturally, you are going to avoid all kind of dukkhas, all kind of sorrows, all kind of miseries, whatever you have, no doubts. So he of dukkha ma, he am dukkha ma. Eh? What do they say? He of man dukkha. What is that sutra? I try to repeat again. He am dukkha managatam. They say he am to be avoided. Dukkha, dukkham miseries anagatam future. He am dukkham anagatam. So then one can avoid. All kind of future dukkhas, miseries, sufferings. Now is the time, Atmanan, for your question, please. How bad is it if your legs fall asleep, and how long can they stay? Stay? No, you sit in sitasan or padmasan. Blood flow is uh, blocked, and at some time after. A half hour, one hour, you feel it, or sometimes 
you don't feel it if you're very concentrated. But uh, it's good if you don't feel it because then you're concentrated. Then you're in dharana. But uh, how is it bad? Or how bad is if the legs fall asleep? It's a very good question. As per my own experience, I used to sit down one sitting for three hours in Padmash and Lotus Postures. It depends on your state of the consciousness, how much you can manage. That is very important. Therefore, we say, Thiram Sukham Asanam. Your posture has to be calm and quiet, but not to be uncomfortable. Sukham means should be comfortable. You may sit down for one hour, two hours, or three hours. But Lord Buddha, he was meditating. He was in Samadhi. How long? Until he was enlightenment. He said that, I'll sit down in this lotus posture until unless I become enlightenment. So he was sitting. Satu Drigga Kala Abhyasa. He followed. Satu Drigga Kala Abhyasa. And he was sitting in the Padmasam and he was became enlightenment. And it's long, long time he was sitting. And he must know that. Lord Buddha was in skeleton. Eh? So therefore, it depends of your mental state of the consciousness. How long you can sit down and how much you have inquired into enlightenment of yourself. And how much you are inquired to free from future dukkhas, future miseries. Am I clear that? Thank so you. therefore, for example, you're traveling by plane, by bus, by train, by car, whatever. But how to really meditate? How to really develop concentration of mind, dharana? How to do dhyana? How to enter in samadhi? But in the very beginning, it seems very difficult. But once we're attained, so very beginning, we don't think so I'll drive and I'll be in the samadhi. <laughs> so don't think that. So. Don't think that way. So very beginning, what you have to do? You have to train yourself, your mind, your chitta, your breath is under guidance of the master. So master will choose for you. Master will guide you how to do pratyahar, how to do dharana, dhyana, and samadhi. So once we are attaining samadhi, once we are attaining chaitanya matma, <laughs> experience yourself and the pure consciousness. Then naturally, you can do whatever you wish. But as we are common people, common yogis, it's very important. As chosen by the Guru, the objective for you the concentrations, mantras, Kriya Yogas, Chakra meditations, Kundalini meditations, Yoga Nidra, Pranayama, Breath Awareness, Tratakas. There's many objectives. Mitran Yantras. Meditate on mantras, meditate on breath. So, best way one should ask their guru to find the objective of the concentration, objective of the pratyaha. Not there is no object of the meditations, but generally we say that object of meditation, actually, object of a pratyaha, object of a concentration, chanting. Om Nama Shiva. Om Nama Shiva. Om Nama Shiva. Or Tantri Mantra. Om Aim Rim Klim Chamundai Vichim. Om Aim Rim Klim. Samundaya Vichim Om Aim Rim Klim Samundaya Vichim Or Gayati Mantra 
develop the concentration of mind naturally you are can enter into dhyana dharayati eh? dhyana the continuity flow of the consciousness the naturally enter into samadhi sam adi sam means harmony eh? adi means to hold the harmony the continuity of the harmony is the samadhi and that leads to all the way chaitanam atma and you are enter into the kingdom of the pure consciousness became enlightened yourself so what i mean to that mananda so check your uh, physical ability the mental consciousness the consciousness of your uh, how say chitta so how your chitta became your chitta is distracted so let them to fix it if chitta is distracted you can't sit down long time so let the purification of chitta is brings all the way to make you proper position to meditate it's up to you so i can suggest you have to slowly day by day develop minutes hours for your meditation maybe some month some years maybe one year to one hour continuity then second year then third year then fourth that it you can be continue also but always check the physical the mental the psychological ability of your fitness because in case if there is fear you see i'm going to sit in meditation for five hours i can be like but maybe that the stiffness comes maybe i have the pain maybe i have some suffering maybe something trouble if there is a doubt <laughs> so naturally become sick i give one example it was the time i used to practice meditation vipassana for 18 times in the, and it was the time in nepal i remember today very clearly very clear there was a guy who was meditate and he he opened the leg after meditation and he could not fold the leg again not possible he could not fold the leg again the leg became straight the knee straight he never bent again i remember today the vipassana center in nepal they took direct they took to the hospital to fix it yes it happens and sometimes when i meditate i remember sometimes maybe my knee is finished maybe i can't open my legs i have been experience such experience as well but i never have the fear i don't have been afraid at all so therefore when i'm sitting in meditations even in numbness comes uh, sleepiness i don't worry because i'm confident mentally psychologically or by the jagrata swapna and susupti whatever you can say 
always think whatever is going to happen is good. And that my mental consciousness or the my conscious mind, unconscious mind, subconscious mind is helping me in order to meditate as long as I wish. Therefore, you can see in Panchagni, I never stand. I used to meditate maximum seven hours. Once a time, I used to have a havan like sacred fires in Latvia. And I used to give you mantra initiations, dikyas, more than two, three hundred people in the line. I was sitting one position there, I mean, maybe position there, but my body, understand my, the knees, not actually bent, is there. A little bit changes, but I never get up for 11 hours. I remember today, 11 hours. Even I did not went pee or toilet or anything. I remember today, seven hours in the panchayagini, 11 hours. Like Amma did, 28 hours. I was remember myself very much conscious, 11 hours. But I was fasting that day. I did not eat the things. Could you imagine that? So 11 hours I was sitting. So what I mean is all I depends but does mean I was 11 hours all sittings I was sitting in my life. No. But it was happened like that. And Panchagina normally, 7 hours, 6 hours, 6 hours is very common for me, 5 hours is very common, 7 hours is very easy for me to go on. <laughs> I can sit down for 9 a.m., I can go to until 4 p.m. without any problems. Because in Panchagini, if I drink the water, is actually uh, is gojan, how say? When you drink the water, is actually uh, evaporate, how say? De dehydrate. Uh, right. It's coming out of the. Uh, am I clear that? So, we have to be very clear today. And the uh, simple, me simple meditation is sit down, observe your breath. Or if you chant the mantras again, come back to your breath. Observe the body sensations. That the way, for example, you feel pain in the knees, you feel very happy in the heart, but sometimes there are lower back pain. Maybe if you light and colors in the eyebrow center, maybe you sit down, you see, oh, so beautiful heaven, so much colorful. The girls or boys or nice garden clouds, whatever you experience, it doesn't matter. It is all the projection of your breath. All the projection of breath. Colors, lights, because anything you experience, what is that? You, have, you experience objects. It is a miracle. Either two objects are there, object and subject. For example, you sit down. You experience something, some light and colors and so on, and you must know any lights, any colors, it's nothing, but it's a matter. Except Chaitanam Atma. Where the pure consciousness, there is no, neither subject nor object. And you become enlightenment. Right? So, how to understand your breath is? In meditation, whatever you have the projection of breath is, it is a two state of the, there is no, either you feel very happy, the pleasant sensations or unpleasant sense, the two kind of sensations. When you meditate, what happening? Very beginning, you feel so much pain in the lower back, the knees, the nominees, so on, or you have so many thoughts, colors, lights, so on. Or your enemies appears, Asuras appears, Devatas appears, your gurus appears, Buddha appears, Lord Shiva is appears, Mother Kali is appears, whatever. It's all are coming from the Britis. Jagrata, Swapna and Susupti. And sometimes you feel very much pleasant. Sometimes you feel so hopeless, so much uncomfortable, so much pain. 
ಕ್ಲೇಶ ಅಭಿದ್ಯಾಸ್ಮಿತ ರಾಗ ತಿಸ ವಿನಿಮಿಸ ಕ್ಲೇಸ ದಾಟ್ ವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೀತಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ in our meditation either happiness or pleasant sensation in the body or on pleasant senses sensation of the body like whatever you are experiencing you understand me whatever you are experiencing is simple witness either pleasant or the unpleasant right if you feel pain in the knees pain in the shoulders pain in the i know when i went vipassana samnas after study at the finish i got eat and lie down so long. my whole body was so much painful <laughs> disaster like you sometimes feeling i'm working 10 hours in the farmer fields or chopping the wood or digging the soil or you walking 1000 kilometers that brings meditation in the 10 hours in vipassana so you feel so much uncomfortable pleasant unpleasant so much pain in the knees the lower back so many things happens ankles so this these are nothing but the breathes and eh? these are nothing but the conscious unconscious and subconscious minds and that is your karma bad karma or the good karma when a good karma you feel so much pleasant sensations you feel so oh i am in the bliss i am in the brahmananda bliss in brahman i am in atmananda bliss in atma <laughs> very beginning but sometimes you feel oh so much pain oh what kind of hell is going on oh i am the asura also you within me the asura the bad karma the negative karmas i have so i was angry i was react i was horrible eh for others i was negative to others i was so that you experience so what so breath is one can experience as a two kind of sensations either pleasant sensations or unpleasant sensations so that you have to be very clear because sometimes not sometimes all the time is difficult to diagnose our mind diagnose the chitta diagnose our breath is we don't know exactly what we want we don't know what we have done in the past we don't know what going to happen in the future we don't know what happening now we don't know so what we have to do whatever the happening whatever our karmas eh that is in the breath is right that is the breath is and that we can experience breath is as a two kind of sensations therefore you have to witness observe like observe the like a yoga nidra you have to observe the hands the chest all things but tomorrow i am going to teach you the meditation and i'll explain you what is dhyana what is meditation again but today is very nice is metaphysical understanding and i'm very happy today and not only deliver my lectures to you or guiding you but i feel more educated myself today what is meditation what is samadhi what is dharana what is samyam what is yoga anushasana what is pratyaha what is the chaitanya mahatma so these are the and how long to practice so to dirgha kala abhyas until unless you become enlightened but currently don't think about enlightenment but think about how much you can manage you can sit down for one hour you can sit down for two hours sit down for 10 minutes 
It depends on you how much you can manage your body, the mind, the emotions, and your duties in social and family life as well. Right? So this must today. Anyone have any questions? So I'm going to uh, rewinding. I still rewind. How say rewinding? Rewinding. Uh, rewind. Huh? Rewind going backwards. Yeah. So let's going to conclude the lesson. Let's uh, lesson today and now. Let the all God has to be eaten. Let the all Asura has to be destroyed. Let the Dharma has to be established. Let the Adharma has to be destroyed. Let the peace has to prevail. The whole planets. Oh. Om Shanti. 